Good day everyone, it's uh, Neil Sasakamus here over at the uh, Fred's tournament in uh, Saskatoon. But I uh, heard some uh, sad news that uh, Gino Ojek passed away. And I uh, just want to, from all of us over here, we just want to give his family uh, condolences and uh, feel really uh, sad about everything. I talked to Gino uh, three days ago, about three days ago I talked to him and... Uh, I was uh, it was really refreshing, you know, to talk to him. We don't get too many NHL players calling us and saying uh, you're doing a good job, and uh, can't wait to come and see uh, Fred's tournament, and, and uh, I can't wait to go watch my sons, um, and I can't wait to go cheer on my uh, Kidiga and ZB uh, Bulls. We call them KZ Bulls. I didn't know Gino personally, but I knew him well enough. Uh, that uh, he knew who my father was, Fred, and he had uh, great respect, uh, great respect for him. And uh, but it was really uh, refreshing, you know. Uh, you work hard at things, and uh, when someone like that of that stature calls you, and you know, um, excited and can't wait to come to Saskatoon in May to come and see the KZ Bulls win, um, he was really excited. Uh, he was part of their committee. Um, he, was, he talked highly and talked lots about his boys, uh, and I know who they are. We all know who they are over here. Uh, great hockey players. So uh, to the team, KZ Bulls, uh, I know you're you're sad right now, but uh, just remember your uh, your dad, Gino, and to the community, uh, Gino was going to be here. Uh, I booked him a room. Told him we'd look after him best we can. He was going to try to get his travel arranged and get releases from the his doctor to fly here in, in May. But uh, your dad wanted you to come. Your dad wanted you to uh, play and win and uh, try bring that trophy home. So uh, we're all really sad. He was such a great man. And we're, we're kids of the 80s, some of us. And, you know, in hockey, it was 80s and 90s. We, he was one of our heroes. So... I uh, hope the Canucks do them right and the NHL does them up right. And I know the First Nations people will for sure. But uh, uh, there's only one of him and, and uh, you know, God bless the, him, God bless him and, and his trip to uh, go see his ancestors and his family that's on the other side. And if you, uh, Gino, if you, uh, thanks for everything you did for us. And uh, you know what? Say hi to my dad from all of us here when you see him. You no, know, thank you for joining us. Congratulations, my friend. Thanks, Paul. It's quite the honor. It's nice to get inducted with Robin and, and Kirk and uh, to see how proud our families were. And it really made us proud to see uh, all the support we had from the, from the people all across the world. Well, no doubt, and it's an honor that is very well due. BC Sports Hall of Fame inductee, what goes through your head when you hear those words? I certainly thought of Pat Quinn and Ron DeLorme. Uh, Ron drafted me, gave me an opportunity, and uh, Pat Quinn uh, gave me a chance to play and uh, you know, gave me a chance to be a, not only an enforcer, but a guy that could contribute, um, be part of the game. And, you know, I never just sat on the bench and wait for something bad to happen. I was always part of the play, and I got to play 10 minutes a night under Pat, and it was a lot of fun. I really uh, thought about those guys. Yeah, this is so cool looking at some of these pictures. And that's so true. When someone gets an honor of this magnitude, they talk about some of the mentors and the people who helped get them there. But you were also universally known as one of the greatest teammates for a lot of players. Who were some of your best teammates? I really enjoyed... Uh, Babo, Cliffy, Jeff Portnall, Trevor was a good guy too. So uh, those are the guys. Dave Babbitt was an unbelievable teammate, and he's still an unbelievable uh, alumni member. He, he does a lot of work with the alumni and organizes the, the skates and makes sure that we're, uh, we're all involved and we're together. Yeah, we, there's a shot of you on uh, Pavel's night there. And I know you were Pavel's protector on the ice, Gino, but I'm not sure everyone knows how close you two were off the ice. What made that bond so strong? I think we were both two young guys in Vancouver. and 
Uh, I, you know, I was um, from a First Nations community, never used to being around a big city, and he came from Moscow, and he wasn't used to being around a small city like this, but uh, <laughs> um, we just connected, and we're still friends to this day, and we'll be uh, brothers till the day that we pass away. Yeah, it's such a unique duo, but such a powerful bond for sure. One of the most popular players to ever suit up for the Vancouver Canucks has reportedly passed away. Wayne Gino Ojik, a man who played 12 seasons in the National Hockey League for the Canucks, the New York Islanders, Philadelphia Flyers, and the Montreal Canadiens has reportedly died at the age of 52 very very devastating news gino's sister dina ojik actually came out on social media to be specific via her official facebook page and shared the news on sunday and actually said she's very heartbroken the family is really very heartbroken that the brother a member of the family gino ojik has left us for the spirit world and she wrote she continued and wrote that ojik spent the first eight seasons of his career with the canucks after being selected by them in the early 1990s and entry draft before by, by the way being traded to the new york islanders for jason stradak stradwick in march 1998 so the legendary man geno has reportedly passed away the cause of death in this moment in time has been according to the so many reports coming in is that uh, the man has actually passed on as a result of a motor accident in 2014 we saw ojik being diagnosed with a very serious health condition known as amaliodosis a disease by the way that um the researchers say it attacks the organs and his heart and the former enforcer had close to 64 goals and 73 assists in 165 national hockey league games this is a legendary man who actually influenced so many people of so many young generations so many young men and women to play the hockey game ojik was a key member like i've told you of the 1994 canuck stanley cup finalist team playing close to 10 games in the playoffs for the team that actually lost a physical seven game series to the new york rangers ojik by the way also did a lot of community work and he holds a canuck team record with his 2127 penalty minutes being the most in the franchise history According to the so many reports and tributes that are being paid to the legend Gino, they said he, Gino was a fan favorite from the moment he joined the organization and putting his heart and soul into every shift on and off the ice. That was the tribute that was paid by one of the legends of the game, Francisco Aquilani, the Canucks chairman and the governor. He continued and said he inspired many and embodied what it means to be a Canuck personal, a Canuck. personally. He he was a very close friend of course to the chairman and a very confident and a very well behaved and humble man someone who could be learned from and someone who had deep advice and he will always be deeply missed so that was the statement that was actually sent in by the chairman mr francisco aquilini another legendary man stan samuel uh, the uh, the vice president of the canucks and the head of operations of um of hockey actually also came out and said that the legend they have lost was a really very close friend to him and he was a very special individual